with Cousin Walter, and what we're doing is just trying to interview some of the old heads before time gets passed, and so just to try to get some of the history of what happened in the West End, and, and more than that, just the, uh, the Glover family. Hey, you know, Carl, how you doing? Fine, Carl. Just doing? start anywhere you want. That's why, who do you remember about your uncles and aunts, and about the West End, and the church, and all oh, the West End. <laughs> <laughs> that was our stopping ground. Mm-hmm. We stayed in the West End more than we stayed at home, especially around T.T. Okay. See, we always call it T.T. and A.L.A. May. And Jezebel and Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Now, Jill Mac Glover, I'm trying to think when Mac was. Mac must have been in New Orleans. I think this was their brother, their dad, All right. uh, Mac Glover, because I know they say that Mac had cancer. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mac died in New Orleans. Right. But uh, and to Jezebel, she was one of the older aunties, and I think Tinker was, yeah, Tinker was the second oldest. Right. And Jezebel was the third oldest. Now that's the third I have to go back on them. Okay. But then Papa lived across the river. Okay. Now Papa was your grandfather? Yeah, that was our grandfather. Okay. And Papa lived across the river. Mm-hmm. And now uh, we used to go to Papa, so we used to walk to know whatever, to see him. Mm-hmm. Now coming back into the West School, we had uh, quite a few cubs in the West School. I can't even go back. You know, and name them all, you know, so you can win Lynn's and Junior and uh and they live in the West End almost side by side. All right, mm-hmm. but uh Johnson Lee, yeah. Only me forget about Johnson Lee. Johnson Lee lived in New Orleans. Not that she lived there with Matt. Right, okay. They, they live in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Only me forget about J- Johnson Lee, sir. And uh, Johnson Lee used to come up every summer. <laughs> and Johnson Lee heard about, I uh, just about a hundred grandchildren. Right, I guess he had quite a few grandchildren. Mm-hmm. But, uh, let's see. Now, going back to the church. This, this is the uh, second Avenue of Church that's there now. Yes, it's the old first Avenue of Church. They tore that down. Mm-hmm. The old Austin House used to be next door to it. This uh this put out now. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of the older songs used to be that they go on there. Like Mr. Ben Howard used to sing in the choir with Jezebel and Lens and Lock Crazy. And our scout master was there, Coleman. Coleman, I guess Coleman did it now too. Mm-hmm. It's been so many years. I guess uh this is something that I remember Coleman, because he was the uh, leader of our scout troopers down there. Mr. Funko lived in the back. And it was quite a, quite a few people that lived, you know, in the West End, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, coming to uh, Western. Hold on. Let me ask you, your grandfather. Now, your grandfather was a preacher? Oh, yeah. Your yeah. grandfather was a preacher. Yeah, grandfather was Now, how much do you know about your grandfather's brothers? No, I oh. didn't. I didn't. I didn't never didn't know uh, after teacher. So no, okay. just just only know him. Okay, and the reason I know him was through uh, teaching him you know, because he used to come up here the other day and sit on the front porch. Mm-hmm. But Papa was a Papa was a very nice preacher. Oh yeah, but, yeah. And Papa Papa started back in Greenville, uh, Alabama. Greenville, okay, Greenville. Papa preached from Greenville all the way up to Tuscaloosa. Mm-hmm. And uh, all the way up through there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa was some kind of preacher. He was a young man then, though. Okay. But we never did uh, see Papa that much because Papa must have stayed on the go. Oh, now well, what about his wife? Uh, I never knew his first wife. I never knew his daddy, daddy uh, mother. Mm-hmm. Didn't know nothing about her, but we did know about Miss Fanny. We used to call her Miss Fanny. Oh, Fanny B. Fanny B. Okay. Fanny B. Right. Okay. Fanny B. So that was the second wife. That was his second wife. Okay. And uh, his uh, the children in Pratville, we didn't know too much about them because we made it all the way to Pratville. So my Pratville. Well, that's like the original brothers. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's where the original brothers from. Okay. I think, now if I'm not making a mistake, we'll see all this I've been keeping now, but I think, <laughs> I think the, the, uh, the brothers started 
in Greenville, Alabama. Alabama. I think that's where it all started. They wrote the Alabama. And with us, we all the way to Greenville, all the way to Montgomery, all the way up to Tuskegee, Tuscaloosa. Okay. And Papa used to cook it all back up there. He was a the young man then. But then when he got older, then we found him out, you know, more and more. And we started coming around the children, you know, we had a lot of grandkids. Okay. And he said, he's a teacher. How many kids do you have? I think it's Dribble, Jesse Lee, Winston, Bill Hogan, Alfred, and Willie Hill. Then I had 12, and and Willie May had 5 or 6. And then I said Jenkins, Jenkins had 2, that was Daddy's other brother. We didn't know too much about him. You know, because he was in California, he left Alabama as a young man. Okay, now, he's an older brother, though, right? Or, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, Jacob was no, yeah, Jacob was older than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say Jacob was older than that. But, but uh, Jacob was a uh, man that he didn't mess around, you know, with, with his people, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, because uh, Jacob lived in California for 40 years uh, and came back after 40 years. Uh, and then he, he met him and but after that, we went back to California. Went out there and got with him? Yeah, we tried to. We went out there to see him, just like we went out there. Now, he was a very selfish person. He was, yeah, he was a selfish man. Mm-hmm. But he had a good education, and he did well in California. He had a career in school, and everything. Mm-hmm. So was, was right up there. He finished out of Tuskegee. Okay. Where was the college? Oh, you know, yeah. Where was the college? Yeah. And, uh, he did well for himself, you know. And now, uh, let's see. Little Mae, right. she did well for herself down there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Keith, her mm-hmm. husband, mm-hmm. he worked at uh, the railroad. He was using the railroad. Mm-hmm. The Lindsay was uh, Georgia Showcase, man. Georgia Showcase, that's what he made glass in her hair. And Matt, uh, it really made her think he was a man that worked out in Maxwell here. Now, what he did, I don't know. Okay. He worked out there for years before he took him sick. Mm-hmm. And he died. Yes. And, uh, let's see, then Lee Corgan, that was teacher older for, I think, he was older for, I think. But he went in the service. And then after that, hmm, and I think, when he said, I think Willie Fred went in the same for Alfred. Mm-hmm. But Willie Fred did very well in the same. Then Alfred went in the same. Then Alfred left at the same. He went back into, uh, went back into Detroit. And, uh, yeah, then Wilbur went to Pittsburgh. We just got to talk about it, so he went to Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. So he left Pittsburgh because he, he his age would let him get a job up there. And he went back down to Montgomery. And then he left Montgomery and went to Detroit when he went to Navy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, Weston, Weston went to that classic clothing store. And Weston left classic clothing store and went to California. Because mm-hmm. after, uh, this is saying it's sent for him okay. to come out here. And uh, he went out there and he did very well. He was kind of good. The pastor of the church, Bishop Simon, goes up and he signed me up and came back to Lansing, Michigan. And uh, Bishop Simon did it very well. First, he was in Detroit as a system pastor at the temple. Mm-hmm. And uh, he did very well, Bishop Simon. He did very well. But now, I mean, we know that the blood is definitely the strongest bloodline in this family. But any cousins or anybody on the outside of. Um, but my, my, your grandfather's name was Matt, and your grandfather's name was Matt. Like, like, Matt, like, like anybody, any cousins or aunt, uncles, anybody outside of Matt's lover that you remember? No, you know, you know, the gym's the deal. That's it. I remember the gym's the deal. Teaching. And it would have been. Because they, and, uh, Auntie Johnson, I remember aunts and uncles, though. Yeah. Right, yeah. The lady in that room. 
That's it. That's it. Yeah. So, so you guys were the jackpot straw of a family. Yeah, right? yeah, man. We stayed away from home. We stayed at home. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, now, what about your dad? My dad, my dad, he was, he was a little old man. Okay. He was for a little old man. He was for 33, 33 and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But the only brother that we always talked about was Matt. Okay. Mike Glover, when he was, and I didn't even know this was, this was Mike Glover, this was first time I was seeing Mike Glover, bitch, I, I didn't know Mike Glover, right, mm -hmm. so he was all on like, yeah, he, he only left, he was in New Orleans, okay. but actually I didn't even know him, all of a sudden I didn't know that New Orleans was just, I guess we got about a hundred cousins down there, but I never did know none of them. Never met nobody but uh, Andrew Johnson Lee. Mm -hmm. You know, I met her because she came back to Montgomery every, every, every summer she came back up there. Yeah. Yeah. And then she would go back down there. Mm -hmm. You know, but I never did know none of them none of down there. I, I wanted to go to New Orleans one time, but Dad said no. <laughs> no, he always his answer. No, I was going to go down on vacation. Brother. Okay. No, but I remember when he died. Then. I was going to go down on vacation. Yeah, I remember when he died. Okay. But, uh, it's, oh, and Uncle Jake. Uncle Jake. I remember that. Uncle Jake. Okay. So that was Auntie Jezebel. Uncle Jake was Auntie Jezebel. Husband. Okay. And he died too. I think he died with cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So give me the one down in your family. How many brothers and sisters? Oh, my, in my family, it was 12 of us. Okay. There were seven girls. Run them off, Florida. My name is George. There is there. She's oldest. Yes, she's the oldest. Okay. And, uh, you want the girls first? And oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. I did. That was, uh, man first. Mm -hmm. Then man. My man's name was Tito. 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 That's it. And, uh, um, the C. Glover, John Glover, okay. and then Mary Bell Glover, mm -hmm. and then Walter Glover, mm -hmm. and then Marvin Glover, and uh, Aileen Glover, and Lois, and Lett, Helen, Earl, there's one more group. <laughs> Thank you, man. Jackie. Jackie, I'll okay. So that's 12. 12 kids. That's 12. Yeah, that was, that was on, that was on Brother's side. All right. So, and then there was my dear, that's a brother, and then the old brother. And then it was 12. And then Brother had some outside of here, Mary. No, it was a good one outside. That was it. That was Brother first wife. Okay. So from here. So from here, she died. Oh. She, she, she died. Two of them could tell you more about Sophonia than when I could because mm -hmm. that came along, you know. You were never thought about it. Now, when you thought about it again, but then after Sophonia died, Sophonia had Mary and Julia. Mary and Julia. Okay. Now, they were in uh, Hunter Station. Alabama, Alabama. Yeah, down in Hollis Station. Where was that beach in Alabama? Is that further down? Yeah, that'd be further down. That'd be further down going going for a crop. Okay. Past Alabama. Mm-hmm. So that'd be one. But it was Junior and Miller. And Junior had one son and Miller had one son. It was kind of the Junior son. I never did know him. Oh, okay. 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 He mostly stayed around Pittsburgh and left Pittsburgh and went to Atlanta. Yeah. So did you have connections with the contacts with him? No. Oh, no. somebody told you then that he was. Uh, when I when I found out where he was, he was in, he was gone to uh, Atlanta. I had only seen him just once, so but not enough to know him. You know, mm -hmm. I was talking to somebody, you know, and speak to him if he's going. But but uh oh, and then uh, yeah, another cousin named. Uh, Pearl. Pearl, she lived in Pittsburgh for years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, let me see. Uh, and with me, she had two, two sons, Harold, and well, I remember, he, he, he moved to Detroit, yeah, he moved to Detroit, right? And Papa D, who was always drunk, always, he was nothing but a drunk. Oh, okay, so, uh, <laughs>
Papa do was just just a drunk. And him and Mac used to fight all the time. Mm -hmm. They had to do fight like cuffs and dogs. Son father. Son father. Son and father. He used to fight all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I made mean, four of them. But all of them had three girls, right? Yeah. Uh, Gladys, Gladys, Adamine, and just two girls. You know, Adrian. Adrian, yeah, Adrian. Yeah, Adrian. Yeah, Adrian. Mm -hmm. But then Adrian you know, they went to uh, Detroit. Yeah. And she was up in Detroit and then she had a mother there with her. Mm -hmm. After daddy died, after my dad died, he went to Detroit and you know, okay. then, uh, she stayed there in Detroit for quite a few years mm -hmm. and until she retired. Now she retired. She moved back down to Atlanta, but right? and that's where her mother died. I think her mother died in the line. Mm -hmm. now, now, I, I want to go back to it once again because it seemed like Whenever you talk to uh, any of the uh, old heads, my mom or you, so like there wasn't no outside uh, cousins, or there wasn't no outside uncles and aunts, or like the singleton. There was did anybody know anything about who's cousins? No, no, I don't know anything about. Yeah, no, pretty close in type group there. Yeah, we were just a close cousin kind of thing. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we were been home, right? We were at teacher house. So, but now what about your mom's people? No, I never knew none of her people. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, what about sisters and mothers? And so she had one brother. My mother had one brother and okay. one sister. Right. But uh, we didn't know nothing about my good people. Now, what was the name then? What was your mom's name then? Banks. Banks. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we didn't, we, we didn't have no contact <laughs> with her brother at all. No, I don't know. Okay. And thank you. It hadn't been too long ago we saw her brother die. But we didn't know. No, we didn't know him. We didn't know him. Okay. And we know a little bit about her sister that we know. We, we went to visit her one time. Okay. We went to visit her one time. And uh, that was all. But we didn't. And I remember one time that my girl took me somewhere in, in Mansfield, Ohio, to try to find who her mother really was. You know, she didn't even know her mother. I don't know why. She didn't know her mother. So. And she was taking me to this lady, you know, to this lady. Yeah. And this lady was sitting down and was, was talking. Mm -hmm. And I guess she was trying to tell her who, who her mother was. But, uh, uh, Major Murphy raised my girl. And I was, uh, 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 she really didn't have no people. Well, you know, but even if she had some, she really didn't know. Okay. As far as I know, you yeah. can never say, oh, this, this is another mother, this is another father. Yeah. Looking like that. So, raising your dad's people was just me before her because she didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't know, she didn't know nothing about her mother. Okay. So she didn't know nothing about her mother. But her tribe, her child running on the Alabama River had any of them. And her child running on that uh, Alabama River. Okay. That's what it that's what it that's what her child was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well she knew that much about it. She knows that much about some of her people, you know. Mm -hmm. See that that Alabama River used to kill a lot of Indians on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, as she always said that her child was on that Alabama River, Alabama River. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so it is. Uh, what kind of mom was your dad? Uh, he was a hard man. Yeah. He was a good man. Mm -hmm. He liked to get the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, like the children was being born, you know, mm -hmm. child of a child, child of a child. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. then when I grew up, you know what I mean? So many of us, man, I, 
hours to get out of them, man. I've been doing, you know, going to find me a job, man. Okay. It was my brother is in California. Mm-hmm. He wanted to quit school. I didn't want him to quit school. I wanted him to stay in school. Because you're right about it. Yeah, my yeah. brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wanted to quit school. And I wanted him to stay in school. Mm-hmm. So I quit school and I went and got a job with that in Mexico. You know. uh-huh. And I stayed out there for years and years to do it. I said he was probably in the seventh grade when he wanted to do that. Quit school? Quit school. He went to school in the seventh grade to go to Mexico. So I took a deal at Mexico right there. I couldn't try me on quit school. So there were so many of us. So what I did, I. Went to school at night. What the real after older brothers? Oh no, no, okay, no. Uh, so we are the older brothers at this time. Have they left already? No. In the one they got married, mm-hmm. and then the other was about to get married, and but it's still hard to you know enough money, you know, with the company, you know, because of the time, you said. because of the time. Mm-hmm. So then, uh, I. I quit school in the daytime and went to school at night so my brother could have a clone in the daytime. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I, I, you know, and let him have the clones in the daytime. I did it. And I went to school at night because I was going to general own mm-hmm. school. And then after that, then he went on finish school. And then in 1960, he was gone in the service. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was in the service. Like he finished school, that's what it was. Uh, he went on in the service. Mm-hmm. He went to North, North Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And then he left there and then he came back and then he went to Texas. He stayed in Texas. Mm-hmm. And uh, his whole aim that he wanted to play God, but they wouldn't let him go on tour. He was in God Misses. Okay. And they would let him, you know, go and go on the tour, you know, with the rest of the boys. So he quit. He got out of sales. He went to California. I think the first thing he really could have been ever since. I said, yeah, he can't do it good. They didn't marry Grace. Mm-hmm. Grace didn't marry California. No, Grace and them all of them went to school together. No, she's from Alabama. Yes. Yeah, she... I never knew that. Yes, yeah, she lived on Broadway Street. Okay, so you know our family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Grace and them was kind of. Yeah, it was kind of high, high, high class people, man. Yeah, I mean, okay. You do it on Black Street, you were high class. So, like, what did their mom and dad do? They were living in a big corner. Oh, yeah. They were a beautiful home. Yeah, she was coming from a regular family, man. Yeah, okay. So, first, she was a high class family, a high class people. You know, how big was her family? She was going to have to be back there. They might have to make a mistake, man. They had to be about six or seven of them. Okay. Yeah, but they, they had a beautiful home. Yeah. 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 And uh, Grace was a nice girl. Well, you know, when she was going to school, and, you know, I was back there with her, you know what I mean? I felt I was in the wrong place, man. I was always out with her. I went up to, uh, I went to eighth grade with her. Mm-hmm. And then after he started coming out of school, and I, I just pulled out and left the school, and I started going to Jimmy Lowe at night because I had a Good job looking around about sixty five and I'll do it two weeks here. I mean from I was shining she was making a hundred and fifty dollars. So then I hurt my back. Now this is how old. I was twenty a young man. I was twenty twenty one, like twenty two years old. Mm-hmm. Then I was in the hospital and mother came to the hospital and told me that Mary Bell, my sister, said she could go to be a nurse. I said, yeah, I said, real nice? She said, yeah, real nice. But I ain't got the money to sell. <laughs> so I had to save them, you know, you know, nickels and dimes, you know what I mean? So I told her, I said, I got some money, bitch. You got some money? I said, yeah. I said, I got some money. I said, to me, I said, it's a lot of money. I said, Probably got two hundred and fifty dollars. She said, What? That's a lot of money back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She said, What? I said, Yes, yeah. I, I got two hundred and fifty dollars. And he said, Oh, boy. Quit joking. I said, I'm not joking. Yeah. Yeah. And I was in the hospital then. Yeah. I said, Take my go home and look up on the seat 
see the road, you know, they have to see the road. Yes, sir, I know, yes. And I said, call the key in, now don't go too far back, but just on the very end of that see the road, you'll find my key. So open that first door and go straight down. Don't, don't get that little quick eye. So she said, all right, so she went home, and that was the $250. And she came in there, $75, and there came in the next door in the uniform on. Because she was at St. Jude Hospital. Okay. So after that, she went on, so she finished and uh, got her European license and everything mm -hmm. and went to Tuskegee. And, and when, after she left St. Jude, then she went to Tuskegee because Tus uh, Alabama was, um, St. Jude was falling, you know, it was falling. That was the whole hospital. Yeah, the whole hospital. Right down on Oak Street. And you could see it. You can see it falling. Okay. So she got out of there and she went to Tuscany and that's where she retired. Mm -hmm. She did good. Mm -hmm. And then the other he went to California, he did good. Mm -hmm. And brother, who was John? John. John, John went in the suit and he did good in the suit, but he should have stayed in there and got out. And Bruno had always had a way for Hooks. Okay. Hooks runner. And I don't know what happened to him. All of a sudden, he just turned alcoholic. Oh, man. If he had been turned alcoholic, I feel like he could have been living in the same thing. So, what did that do? Oh, yeah. A drunk is such a drunk is such a drunk. Yeah. And then, Earl, Earl, he was another alcoholic. There was another older brother. No, Earl is the baby. So, he had a baby brother. Okay. He drank his drunk. He drank his drunk. Okay. He drank his drunk. Oh, my God. He drank his drunk. He drank his drunk. And uh, I was trying to smoke and drink and all that kind of stuff. And uh, John, after after me and Dad, John couldn't, he could just couldn't take it. He couldn't take it no more. But that was his brother. That was the second one, the second one. Okay. He couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. And then he started drinking and drinking and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, that diabetes, that diabetes was taking control. Oh, and and like it. And drank him in there. Yeah, that wasn't good for him. Wow, uh, okay. So that was better, that wasn't good for him. Mm -hmm. So, in 1960, 1960, I was in the hospital. I was back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was back. 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 I was I left and went to Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Why? Who's in Indiana anyway? Uh, our cousin Zeke. Okay. Zeke was our cousin. That was cousin Blunt's. Uh, that was cousin Blunt's cousin. Mm -hmm. But anyway, and cousin, cousin Blunt was who? Related to who? Cousin Blunt was related to Daddy. That was with 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 Yeah, that was that was his people. Oh, that was, okay, that was, yeah, okay. That was his people. Because okay. Morris was all right. All right. And Mary, and Mary was uh, Daddy's uh, cousin, auntie. Okay. But anyway, Mrs. Ada wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. that's what he would know something about him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, they try to go back for a logical. Oh, sure, yeah. That's it. That's fine. Uh, uh, so then after that, then I left the other team. In Indianapolis, and I came back home. Okay. Could you get a bad word? I couldn't find work in Indianapolis. No, no man. I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't find nothing up there. Okay. okay. So I came on back home to Alabama. To Alabama. Mm -hmm. And then I stayed in Alabama for a while, and I went back to work for Maxfield. Okay. And then cut my feet. Oh. Cut me down from 60, uh, 65 all the way to 45 all the way to. Mm -hmm. And I knew that wasn't going to last long. I knew it. I was getting out of there, man. So I left there and I went to, uh, I went to, uh, Rope River. Asked him, could I come and stay here? And he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just hold on for a little while. I guess he was trying to get him a bigger place. Okay. Because I was going to come up there. So I, let, let me ask you, in the West End, do you remember before the three houses or four houses in a row that we were at? Nothing, nothing. No, it's just the three houses was there. So that was there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, A.T. Jones, uh, A.T. Jones, Jezebel was there. Right. And, uh, Lorenzo was there. Right. And Willie Bill was there. Mm -hmm. 
and teach it with this rock. That was little four in a row. Little four in a row. Okay, gotcha. And uh, I can think of it uh, I can think of the people who live next door to teach it. There was another house there, five in a row. Okay. Okay. And then right across the street was, uh, right across the street was, uh, the church. Right, right. Okay. Right. This is the second Ebenezer right. church. Right there. This is the second Ebenezer church. And then the Parson House had always had been there. Right next door. Right next door. Right next door. And then the Parson House fell. Mm -hmm. That's the hey, house fell. Right. Now, the, uh, what I mean by the Parson House, that was the Parson House. The Parson House, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, that house is still on now, and the church that so, they got now, this is the second Ebenezer, okay. because the first Ebenezer was a wooden Ebenezer. A wooden church. A wooden church. Okay, that's okay. And so they, they tore that down and rebuilt the uh, other Ebenezer church. It's been standing there for all the time in the year. So that, yeah. Now, if your, um, your dad, brothers and sisters, who would you say he was closest to? Okay, but but we were all more or less in the same area, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was uh, uh, William May, right? And Lindsay, all the three houses right there in the room, right? Yeah. Okay. But there was more close to the Kinky who was in the room. Yeah. Now, now Johnson Lee was. He was close to John Lee. In fact, he was close to all of them, but the most one that he would come and talk to would be the people. She kept me laughing. He did not like his, his stepmother. Is that right? Oh, man, he didn't like his stepmother. Uh oh. And he got all of them tired. Now, how, how did you find out? Where that come from? Uh, that's what they used to call him long years ago. Yeah, but you don't know what, why. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Don't be like that, too. Right. Don't be like that, too. But boy, he couldn't stand Miss Fanny. Oh, because Miss Fanny, she, she wanted to take over his, his bed and he didn't like that. Okay. No, they were better than he just didn't like her. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you have like cigars. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he liked the cigars. Okay. And he liked the warm meals. He liked the peanuts. Okay. And boy, I tell you, he liked them sweets too. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I can't even remember, but I know he, he always was with me. No, he always was with me. I think that was a, a million. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. A million. Boy, he used to love them cigars. I'm going to tell you. I said, yeah. Now, I know you have pictures of your dad. Yeah, I got pictures. Okay, good, good. Okay. I got pictures of these pictures of my baby, you know, down there in the, in the box or somewhere. I got some of those pictures, you know. So that's what I, where I come back uh, another day with that. Yeah, yeah. And I went, when, uh, so then, like I said, the flavor that I've gotten of everybody is that you guys didn't, um, you didn't branch out, it was like no uh, cousins or family. You guys were just to yourself. Just tell us him. All the food we used to go is out in the woods. And back. And back. That's all the food. Yeah, there was no nowhere to go. Okay. Because, you know, most of them, you know, they had, like, all the skills for swimming. Okay. And we should have been dead years ago. And we were jumping away, paws, man, jack. And then the snake was in there, they come out of there for a week, and I didn't know. And then I tell you, they just used to leave the road. Okay. Yeah, man, he would, he would go and find some water, and if then the water was there, he gonna, he gonna fish around in and get all the fish out of there. Oh, man, we should have some time. Oh, yeah, man, we should have some time. Oh, yeah, man. And people were not killing people like they were now. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't that, it wasn't nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And then me and Winston came to New Jersey. Very close. Yeah. Very, very close. But there was no, it was two, two sisters. Okay. <laughs> and and, and, and they looked to like they were white girls. Oh, yeah. Well, they were white. Okay. They were white, white father, mm -hmm. color mother, gotcha. And these two, and they was, y'all gonna stand down there? Yeah, that's good. Y'all gonna stand But then, take care of his children. Yeah, uh, yeah, they, they, they picked the wrong one because uh, she was working on that band, on that band, this band way, not a band uh, Dixon truck. And uh, there's a boy that was working on, 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 on that band way truck, and they mistaked him 
and they stayed looking for, for him. Wow. And they took him over that truck, man, and found his body going down that, uh, that summer, four summer look. Yeah. yeah. And them girls had to leave him, man. They used to tell us all the time, man. I was flying there, he didn't want to go to the mall. Yeah. Then, man, what's your name? Yeah. Why they want some work? Some out. They want some summer, was it? They still can look at his life over there. They sit down and start thinking about his life. He should have had one of them too. Yeah. Hey, we're about to try to get in there. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, I didn't want to get him and, 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 and tell the two of them to sit down and, 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 uh, See what I'm going to take to him before they want to know. Nothing like me will get it down. You know what some of those things will be a long day. Yeah. 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 Didn't buy nobody. Didn't go out and buy nobody. Didn't get in no trouble. Nothing. Mm -hmm. We were good boys. We were nothing like Papa Deuce. Right. No, me and one just used to like, like to laugh all the time. Right. I'd go out and chip chice and just laugh and we couldn't laugh no more. I'd say, okay. Papa Deuce, Papa Deuce, we were going to fight all the time. We were going to fuck all the time. Right, yeah. Yeah, the Lord did the best thing we could ever could do when we took Papa Deuce out of our house. But Papa Deuce was something else being yeah. there. Yeah, but isn't that where still no more? That was a good time. Oh, man, it was good times down there, man. We scored the Nevada, man. We scored the Drum, we scored the Birds, and man, fish, kill snakes, man. And then over in the uh, old of the uh, church, Gladys, that was over the new dawn, I finished. He kicked the snakes so long, he was coming. Oh, so he's still to come over across the street. I guess she must have seen him, but, but he was a big snake for that. Yeah, yeah, and Winston, Winston should have been there a long time ago. Winston out there playing cards, and you know how you spat a bitch, you know. Yeah. The snake was looking off Winston's toe. Ooh, it's looking off his toe. Winston kicked the snake, the snake would go back, come back. And Winston looked around and had a big old rattle I mean, you know, a snap. Oh, well, damn, man. So I'm saying, I said, that yeah, boy should have been doing it a long time ago. Oh. So, you know, we were fucking up with us? We were fucking up with us. But they still were licking it. Right. And, and they wanted to, you know, try to swallow that tongue. You know what right. Yeah. And Winston got away from there. That's a lie. Boy, I tell you, that Winston came through it, so the Winston was... He was a high-working boy. He was a high-working boy. He was a high-working boy. And Winston was my captain. <coughs> Winston was my captain on on uh, on safe patrol. We got in the sixth grade. Winston was the captain. I was just a private. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he was my captain on safe patrol. But so, yeah, Winston was. Uh, I thought I did it years. Like with your brothers and sisters, I did years, or you guys were right on top of each other. Or that's the longest thing. Well, I'm gonna say we're about we my oldest sisters. I got we we about three years apart. Okay. You know, we got three years, so like, we were the same old day that she's 73, mm -hmm. and I'm 70, exactly. Okay, so we're three we years apart, my other brother, the right. one in California, but he's 68, okay, 65, 68, 68, 68, 65, okay, yeah, he's 65, we got the biggest gap between brothers and sisters, yeah. about three years, yeah, about three years, okay, okay. So about three years apart, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know seven, seven girls, five boys. Now the house that uh, Mary Bell is in, is that your original house? No, no. We no. was on Hill Street. Okay. And every new was moving to it. The Hill Street, right? Hill Street. Okay. And uh, every new was going to move through it. And there was going to put those bridges in there. Okay. And turn on all that stuff. Right. There was a guy named Baker. Uh, Brother Baker told us years ago, he said, look, look, you mm -hmm. He said, hey, you going to move through and tell all these houses. I said, oh, man, go with me, Baker. And every time we see him coming, we used to laugh at him. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't going to do that. They ain't going to do nothing. Man, get out of here. I just went to Washington, D.C. And I had a meeting over there. Mm -hmm. oh, they couldn't know him. Come here, don't you? But it's a law here because they're lying to us. But ask me, did it come true? It's all around through here, because it's not all of it. 
Okay. Now, 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 me and Weston and all of us, we had that plane in the And uh, I said, man, I said, I've been going on home. I said, because it just started raining. I said, but it ain't stopped, though. But, and, you know, <laughs> oh, Lord, knowing in St. Peter's Pool, that, that cloud had backed up over there in St. Peter's Pool. Okay. There's a place they call St. Peter's Pool. Right. And knowing if it could cloud in there, you better go somewhere. But the sky. Mm -hmm. No, it was a tornado. A tornado, okay. okay. That tornado was coming, mm -hmm. and I ran, I ran to the hill. The teacher was calling me, and I started with running. Right. And I, a minute after I got in the house, just, just, just like you come in that door. Right. Look at those things cracking. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. And that tornado was just moving. Is that right? Okay. And I, I missed that tornado about a inch. About a second, right? You're just, just coming out of the door. I just ain't trying to do it. Right. Just ain't trying to do it. Okay. And, uh, um, after that, we went back out, to, not that day, but the next day, man, we twisted railroad tracks, man. Mm -hmm. so, oh, man, it was terrible, man. It was, it was a terrible sight. See, I never want to get another time to young. But now, do you all ever have any family get together or put or anything like that? No one going to pop a house. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, no one just going to pop a house. Okay, nothing organized. Mm -hmm. no, 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 nothing organized. Cause mm -hmm. Mama just cooked two pieces of cake. TV or stuff like that in the West End. Uh, it was sad and peanuts. Okay. So y'all did just get together and it was a regular family. Yeah, it was a regular family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because so it was just y'all out there. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Right. 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 We used to have some good times down there, old man. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't, no, wasn't just like no chilling or nothing in the can. Right. Yeah. Nothing yeah. in the can. Mm -hmm. So what about the white folks? You didn't bother them, they didn't bother you? No, no, I tell you. White folk live up on Villa Street. Mm -hmm. There was a boundary line there. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 you didn't buy him, they didn't buy you. Okay. And the boundary line you know, you didn't go to Bell Street at, at you know, a certain time of night, you yeah. You didn't go to Bell Street. Okay. But, you know, on the railroad tracks, they used to rock the white boy like they were nothing. Exactly. Okay. So, walk to a paper mill, try to just find a book and the white boy, run down And they, they had a boys' club. Okay. They had a real nice boys' club, but you couldn't go there. Right. Okay. okay. And you know you couldn't go there, so we stayed out of there. Okay. Now the movies, mm -hmm. and we had, we had the college theater movies, okay. we had the cooking theater, mm -hmm. and we had the rich theater. Okay. We got on the bus, we got on the back, we wrote the back, right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you, know, you know what this is. Right. So after you know this is, then that was no problem. Do we? We never told no police. No, we never told no police. Okay. Because we know our place. Yeah. And we, we stayed in our place. And, and, and that was it. I, I don't know why people said they had so much trouble to the law. No, no, because you said no. No, because we, we made it. You know, in good places. Right. We had a nice time. I had a nice time, but I was so afraid they didn't stop you and right. harass you a little bit, you know what I mean? Let you go on back to business, you know what I mean? Okay. But, you know what I mean? We stayed at the white section. Right. And, you didn't have no problem. Sound like life was good? Oh, yeah, life was good. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Just with no jobs. So right. as far as you know, I knew that. Right. We went to school. We didn't go to school in Hawaii. I don't tell you we went to school with the white people because we didn't. Right. Yeah. And uh, we went in the back of the bus. And, you know, some guys had cars signed there. Mm -hmm. But not but not no good jobs like you got those. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell you we had a good job now. Yeah. Right. We didn't have that job. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest job that was going like was doing Max if you were, you know, or the railroad. No, no, not the railroad. No. No, no. no. it's just those young blacks work on the on the real. Oh no, okay. Those old guys like the other young. Oh, okay. Brother, you said we been there for thirty years. Yeah, he's just thirty three years. Thirty three years. Yeah, he was a he was a mechanic. 
Shout out to I can't wait for my angels and all of them. But, you know, like I said, I, I used to sell peanuts, you know, to the shop, you know. We play like this, you know. Sell ponies, peanuts, and come back, you know. What you got there, boys, good boy? I said, peanuts, sir. Peanuts, peanuts, give me some. I said, yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. How much do you How much are you? Said, Look them. Look them. Said, yes, sir. And they're going to pull out, wait, wait a minute, you got some more ass. Yes, sir, here's some more. And then they'll take the paper you know, and, and, and pay me for them. They just take them, you know, and we're not paying them. And they, they, they would take them and pay me a nickel and they go on about their business. That's what I mean. But I didn't have no problem, no. I, I didn't have no problem with people down south, you know what I mean? Now, two places that you mentioned that I'm going to have to uh, look out that uh, nobody else has mentioned, and that's uh, Potter's. You said Potter's, Alabama? Uh, uh, hey, uh, good, uh, good, uh, grandfather lived, came out of Greenville. Greenville, okay. Greenville, Alabama. Nobody mentioned that before. No, I'm not going to that. Greenville and the religion center. No, I thought it was somewhere else that you had mentioned. The Greenville definitely is new. So yeah, that's what yeah. I'm When you look at the Greenville, yeah. it, 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 it,